Hello everyone, it is I, Hikari, and um... <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, okay, this is not, this is not the best start, but um, I just realized <laughs> that I'm doing this in the second time in a row, so yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a sketchbook tour. Uh, so this is not a new sketchbook. I haven't finished any new sketchbooks or um, any recent sketchbooks um, <laughs> so far uh, into 2021, but um, I'm hoping to do more traditional art and also fill up my sketchbooks as well. So uh, look look out for that. I might do a sketchbook tour of, of that sketchbook as well. So, <laughs> um, and by that sketchbook, I meant um, my current sketchbook, so. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, and um, what I meant by I'm doing this two times in a row, uh, if you didn't know, I'm having, I'm, <laughs> I um, am making a Q&A video, um, and for the last Q&A video, I wasn't done with it, so <laughs> um, I had to delay it um, to the next week, and instead of posting it on the day that I was supposed to post it, I replaced that video with a sketchbook tour, so um, I, I'm doing that again. <laughs> I swear this was just coincidence. I, I did not mean to do this a second time. Uh, so yeah, let me, uh, let's, let's begin. Hajime <laughs> mashou. Um, I'm pretty sure I bought this sketchbook in 2000, 2017 for Christmas. Um, so <laughs> yeah, uh, I think this is Target brand in the brand you create. Uh, so yeah, I would definitely say that the sketchbook is decent and is good enough for like um, sketching and doodling and just doing general stuff. So um, yeah, let's 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 begin. <laughs> uh, so first page here. Um, I have some personal information, so I decide to use sticky notes to cover those up. Uh, if you see any sticky notes or anything covering anything, um, that is <laughs> um, that is me just trying to cover up any personal information. So yeah. So here I have my last name, so I had to cover that up. Uh, so <laughs> the story behind this is that um, there was a YouTuber who would make girls based off elements. And you know, make character designs based off that. Um, I'll leave the an image of that right here, uh, so you can see an example of that. And um, I got inspired, and I wanted to do that myself. So um, that's what this is. Uh, <laughs> so as you can see, it's um, it's water themed. But uh, when I was first drawing it, I actually ex um, was going to make it fire themed. If you couldn't tell by like the spikes and everything. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I, I totally forgot about that while I was coloring and I like only halfway through the coloring stage that I realized, oh crap, this was supposed to be um, fire, a fire element girl. So um, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I totally forgot to mention. Um, I am gonna be um, redrawing bits of um, some drawings from the sketchbook. So uh, here, let me just get the redraw of this. Ta-da. Um, so the original uh, thing that I was going to do is um, do fully colored illustrations um, of everything in this sketchbook, but uh, that, that was very time consuming and um, I decided rather than doing that I would pick some certain drawings that I thought were iconic in my drawing journey, so, and of course redraw them. But uh, here, I also I also wrote down some rules. Um, I would be able to change some stuff to make to draw it as I would today, but I cannot change the theme slash general composition. So that's that's that. Uh, so <laughs> um, analyzing this, I tried to you know do better anatomy than this. <sighs> I guess I guess. Um, when you're uh, younger, you kind of think that your art is amazing up until like when you're older, you come and see it and just be like, uh, that looks questionable. <laughs> um, so we have the popular girl, we have the emoto or the little sister trope. 
and um, on top of her head is a porcupine or hedgehog. I don't, I don't know the difference. Um, sticker because like my friend had a sticker sheet in art club and she just gave it to me. So, um, here was supposed to be the uh, athletic sister type. Um, if you couldn't tell by the <laughs> terrible hair. Um, anyways, the last trope was um, not human. Or like the one that's just not human at all. Um, anyways, I did redraw Porcupine Girl. Uh, here she is. Um, I can definitely say that this is probably one of the worst uh, doodles that I've redrawn, but um, at least at least you see some improvement there. I I hope. Oh yeah, and also I also drew the the little porcupine. Oh. Oh no, focus, 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 you stupid. Anyways, yeah. Here's the porcupine. It's cute. Uh, so, yeah, let's move on. <clears throat> um. <laughs> uh, that's, that's my friend. Um, we're gonna call her Jessica. <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> uh, so this is my first alcohol marker drawing. In the sketchbook so that's what that is I don't think the sketchbook really handles um, alcohol markers that well so I, I don't recommend it but I used to use it a lot for my Copic marker illustrations um uh, I don't I don't know what that is eh. why is the lip so big Okay, uh, so I think I drew this for my friend's um, birthday, and um, yeah, I don't understand. It, it just looks terrible. It looks terrible, and I hate it. Um, I we're just gonna ignore that. We're just gonna ignore that. Uh, so around this time, um, my parents agreed to allow me to get some Copic markers. So I was just writing down some of my favorite Copic markers from like multiple videos that I've seen of them. Um, and all these doodles right here and all the doodles before have been made with um, cheap, uh, fake, not fake, <laughs> um, rip off Copic markers. So yeah. Here we have Blonde hair girl with green streaks because yes. Um, here I was trying to draw my cousin as a fairy, but uh, I messed up on the on the mouth and it kind of looks really creepy. So um, I decided to scrap that. I, I used to think this was really good, and now I just look back at it and I'm just like, why? Um. Oh, okay, this is one of my favorite drawings from this sketchbook. Um, basically, uh, I drew a cheeb doing the middle finger. Uh, so it's not really that, um, what's it called, inappropriate for me to put sticky notes on it. But uh, I used to take the sketchbook to school, so I didn't want the teachers to see that. Um, anyways, so this is um, around the time when I started to get into cheebs and chibis, so... Uh, yeah, I, I tried drawing another cheap next to her, but um, I never finished it, so. <laughs> and of course, I did have to redraw this one. Um, I definitely would say that I like the original a little bit better. Uh, since I didn't really try with this one, I kind of just gave up after a while. <laughs> um, but I do like how I do faces now. That is, I think that's a lot better than than this face, so. Yup. <laughs> um, so anyways, moving on. Oh god. Uh. <sighs> to give you context, um, I did make a video, which I think is unlisted now, um, where I showed off my 2017 art supplies, and um, this was one of the drawings I did for that video. Uh, Needless to say, that video was horrendous. I, I hated that. I hated that video so much. So, yeah. Um, so of course, since I dislike this drawing so much, I just, I just needed to redraw it so I could see the improvement here. Here's the redraw. Um, 
I can definitely say that I've improved on anatomy and I think faces uh, and hair, of course. Um, so, uh, yeah. Also, for this one, I did kind of try to draw the hands. I messed up just a tiny bit on this hand, but uh, it's fine. <laughs> um, this, this pose is slightly stiff and doesn't look very um, fluid and natural, so uh, that is something that I do need to improve. But anyways, moving on. <laughs> Um, this is when I first started swatching Copic markers at Michael's, so... Um, <clears throat> uh, so here I was trying to make my own OC um, to send for, I think, yeah, flying pings. But I'm glad I never finished this because this looks terrible and I would have I would have been extremely embarrassed if flying pings actually chose this and yeah. Um, okay, here's a sketch of the thing that I'm going for in the next drawing. So this was a drawing that I did with markers and this is technically the first Copic marker illustrations that I've done. Uh, I did redraw this of course but I definitely think that it is not the best drawing. I, I dislike this just a tiny bit. I, I hope you can see some improvement. Um, I did improve on drawing hands and side profile but uh, I still have a long way to go before I get side profile, right? <laughs> um, so fun fact, this is actually supposed to be a redraw of um, the first page. Wait, let me see if I can flip to it. So yeah, you, <laughs> you can't really see any similarities, um, but apparently this, that was what it was supposed to be. This was supposed to be a redraw of that, um, but I didn't redraw this drawing because um, I already redrew it about like a year ago. So I'll just put that on screen right now. So it's right there. Um, so because of that, I decided not to redraw it, but um, uh, I might redraw it sometime in the future. I don't, I don't know. Okay, uh, so here's a reject illustration that I was gonna do, but I decided to not. Um, it was mostly because I gave this character bushy eyebrows and I thought I messed up. And honestly, I don't know why I stopped at the bushy eyebrows. Why and like why I didn't stop at like everything while I was just sketching. So um, yeah, I dislike this a lot. Why does it look like that? But I um, I am proud of this hand. Sort of, it kind of looks decent. But at the same time, not. I, I I don't know what that is. I I just don't know what that is. Behold. This is like one of the only good illustrations in this, or rather, never mind. There's there's better illustrations, but um, this is what I call the point where I actually like started to get better. Um, so to give you context behind this drawing, um, basically I found this really cute image of a girl on Pinterest, and um, that really inspired me. So I wanted to try redrawing it. Um. Of course, I didn't do a good job, but I tried my best, and um, it really did help me improve because I figured out that clothing folds are a thing, and um, <laughs> so um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I definitely recommend um, looking up an image of an art or anything that like um, an artist drew that inspires you, and then try redrawing it and like seeing what shapes they used, just anything that um, the artist used that you might want to incorporate in your style. So yeah, that, this, this kind of helped me improve. Um, if you couldn't realize it from this drawing, um, her, her chest looks big, right? But um, in order to give that effect, you're going to want to also have clothing folds and this this kind of just taught me, okay, I should do this so I can um, show that there's curvature and like shapes in there, in the clothing, rather than the cloth just laying on a flat surface. Um, so here are just some eyes. Uh, I think I named this one Ball Chan, but I never used her for anything. I don't know what this is. I, I, well, I, <laughs> no. Um, so I'm pretty sure 
the video is still up, but uh, here is my first ever mermaid, and I think my only mermaid, because I never decide to do it again. <laughs> so yeah, I don't have much words to say about it, except I kind of dislike this drawing just a tiny bit. Um, here I was going to draw a Shiba Inu, but I failed. Ha! Huh. That, that, whatever that is kind of looks a bit scuffed. Um, I would say this is one of the better illustrations in this. It's still not the best, but like, at least it's better than, um, most of these illustrations, so, yeah. Oh, I totally forgot. I'm so sorry. Um, let's go back. Do, do, do. Uh, so over here, I did redraw this since I felt like it was, um, a big draw, nah. it made a big impact in like my drawing, um, drawing journey, so yeah. Uh, so here's the redraw. Uh, I don't think this is that good, but um, there is some improvement, I think. Uh, that is, mm. okay, so I'm pretty sure I wasted a tons of like uh, pages of this practicing calligraphy and I wasn't even that good so let's see it <laughs> I swear to god my calligraphy is a lot better now okay let's see what message I left myself anyone who's killing um animals needs to kill themselves yay wow <laughs> okay so here I was gonna draw a animator on YouTube uh, named Rosalie, but uh, it looks bad, so we're gonna just skip over that, okay? We're mm, not good. Here I was trying to draw a anime boy, um, but <laughs> it didn't look good. It didn't, it just did not look good. Um, so this, when did I do this? Okay, so this is about um, one year after this drawing. And that, and this looks worse. I don't know how I did that, even though this is like one year later. How? <sighs> well, anyways. Um, so for those who have been around for quite a while, um, you guys would probably know this character as, um, Eva. Or Ava. <laughs> um, I don't actually know how to pronounce her name, it was just E-V-A, and, um, for a while I called her Eva, and then my brother was like, Hey, that's wrong, it's supposed to be Ava, and I'm just like, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Here I was trying to draw an OC from a YouTuber, uh, but uh, I never finished it. And for good reason. What the heck is that hand? What the frick? I, I don't, I don't even want to talk about this. So around this time, I was really obsessed with Eeb. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's basically just like a game. Um, and it was really cool, and I really liked it. So <laughs> uh, here's Mary from Eeb. Um, so here's an OC. There's a few OCs scabbard in here. Uh, and here is my first um, full drawing of a boy. Well, not really full, but uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I would say that at least it didn't come out too bad. <laughs> um, that's all I have to say. I did redraw this, of course, because I feel like I'm a lot better at drawing males now. So, uh, before I show you the redraw, this yellow spot um, is from foam. I <laughs> messed up on the hands quite a bit, and I decided to cover it up with like some foam and. I, I don't know what happened to the foam, but it just left this y gross spot on the paper, so. Anyways, let's move on and show you guys the redraw. Yay! Oh yeah, I totally forgot, the, uh, but this guy's name is Alec. Um, so here is his updated design. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about it. He kind of just looks like he's gonna say, Let, let's kick some ass. <laughs> Yup, that's that's what he says. That's what he's saying. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've 
I definitely think I've improved on drawing males and I'm really happy with this drawing. So, y yeah. <laughs> Uh, here's another OC. Mm, no comment. Or just an OC. Random doodle. Uh, here I was going to do, or rather I did a pastel challenge where I only used pastel colors. Um, I think the video is still up, but uh, no one really watched it. It wasn't really that popular. <laughs> so, yeah. Here is a draw this in your style. This is my first draw this in your style challenge in which um, I didn't make this OC. Um, I drew someone else's, of course, because <laughs> I would I would definitely not be able to pull off something as skilled as uh, the design. But obviously, I dislike this drawing. <laughs> I mm, not good. I yeah. <laughs> Um, here I was trying to draw the Nintendo Switch girl that Lavender Town did. I'll put another image on screen. I'm so sorry, future me, for putting you through so much pain with editing. But, um, yeah, that's, that's this. Uh, so here I was just, you know, doodling and stuff. And ta-da! Here is my OC which I, I don't use that often, but I do want to maybe draw her a little bit more. Um, and she's appropriately named after me. Her name is Akari. Yay! Uh, so this is back then when um, I went by Evil Princess Cutie, so I thought it would be really sneaky if I was just like, haha, why don't I have a character who's named after me? Because that, be, that would be so amazing. <laughs> Anyways, yep, this is Akari, um, my OC, which um, got named after me. And uh, of course, I just had to redraw her, so here she is. Um, I definitely would say I got better at drawing hair and drawing eyes and the faces. But uh, yeah, this, this drawing still has like a special place in my heart because I really like it. Uh, so... Here I was trying to draw backgrounds, but um, I'm not. I wasn't good at them, and I'm still not. But I'm gonna try and get better. What? What are those nubs? Why did I draw this? Why? <laughs> if you don't know, there was an app um, in which was called Pastel Girl, and you could make your own like character. Um, it's kind of like Pit Crew, but different, kinda. <laughs> Um, and I made my own character and I drew this for a live stream, I'm pretty sure, and I'm not sure if I privated it or if I deleted the live stream, but um, this sucks! I hate this! I hate this so much! Ah. I need to sneeze. I need to sneeze. <laughs> okay, I sneezed. It's fine. Um, so here's a redraw of um, the Eva drawing. Uh, not much to say about it except um, the original design of Eva has a white, uh, cl white clothing, cl clothing, yep, <laughs> white clothing and um, black hair. But um, as you can see, everything is just gray except for her eyes, which are kind of pinkish when they're supposed to be red. But you know what? Mm, never mind. <laughs> I just, I just, mm, rest in peace, Eva, rest in peace. Uh, so anyway, here's another redraw of Akari. Um, not much to say about it, except I definitely would say that I've improved from this drawing as well, so yeah. Another drawing of Akari, and here I was gonna tr um, try to draw one of my Discord friends, um, OC, so amazing. This is so cursed, and I dislike this drawing so much. So we're gonna, we're just gonna skill on, ignore that, skill on, ignore that. Yep. Um. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, this was supposed to be the beginning of a zodiac series where I would draw zodiac chibis, but um, I never, I never did anything else besides this one. I just did Capricorn, and then that's it. Mm, what the frick is that? Um, so here are some doodles. For some reason, at first this reminded me of Ibuki, but yeah. Um, 
Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely remember that I tried making this drawing um, a tutorial, but it, it came out really bad, and I was really bad at explaining things. And either way, this would have been such a bad d tutorial. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Oh, I actually kind of really like this one still. I mean, everything about it is weird, but like, I think it's it still has a place in my heart, so. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, I, I did, um, I did redraw it as well, so here's that. Um, back then, I had an obsession with drawing really long hair since I just really like swoopy hair. Um, even now I do, but I've managed to be able to control myself and draw minimal amount of hair, so yeah. What is this abomination? <laughs> ah. Um, so I think when I was younger, I did not draw guidelines, or rather the way that you should. I would just like, you know, you draw a circle for the head, maybe add a chin slightly, and then just draw the shapes as if I was just, you know, drawing it. But rather than um, doing this, nowadays I actually like, you know, here, let me show you an example. So here you could see there's like a little bit of a circle, and then I would try to make things proportionate and you know, have everything look good and actually um, atomically correct. But here I would just um, draw shapes and then line them so they look like body parts, but they, and in the end they just didn't. Look at these! Look at these! What are these? I don't, I don't even know. I'm just, I'm so upset at myself for why I used to draw like this. Why? Okay, moving on, moving on. <laughs> uh, I think these here are the last two. Um, so this drawing was based off uh, a dream that I had. Um, where I think there was this girl with um, really pretty purplish brownish hair and she was a maid and um, I can't remember anything else besides that so uh, that's that's her and of course this is the last redraw and last um, these are the last pages so this is the last redraw uh, I would definitely say that the pose for this is very stiff, but I'm actually really happy with um, how it kind of came out, so, yeah. And then, for the last drawing, which kind of is anticlimactic because I feel like I did not get any better since the beginning of the sketchbook, um, but... Here are my two OCs, or rather old OCs. I kind of just retired them into the dumps. But uh, um, here is Akihiko, and then here is Akito. And um, they're, they're supposed to be twins. I'm not sure why, but um, I made them in a pose that kind of made them seem like they're um, a couple. But uh, mm -mm, I dislike incest, so <laughs> that's not good. So yeah, these these two are actually supposed to be siblings. Anyways, that's the end of this sketchbook and the end of my misery looking through this because of how bad it looks. Um, with final notes, uh, going back to, let's see, this drawing and then of course the weird, uh, let's see if I can find it, do and this drawing, so this drawing and this drawing. Um, while looking through my um, kind of old sketchbook, so apparently I did try redrawing these two pages, um, as you can see. Um, I could definitely say there is an improvement, but uh, yeah, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, I can definitely say that uh, in my new sketchbook, it looks, they, they look a lot better, so <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, looking through my trash old drawings. Uh, <laughs> um, like I said before, Q&A will come next week. I promise you, 
uh, like I did uh, <laughs> a year ago with my previous q and I will bring out the Q&A next week, so uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, like I said before, and uh, make sure to have an amazing day. Goodbye.